Yeah, temperatures are 20 degrees above average, and it is still February. Our high today, 74 degrees. That will be the warmest day of the week, but it's not like the rest of them are going to be cold. We'll be around 70 Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday before cooling off a little bit on Friday. Thursday, while it will still be around 70 degrees, that's the day with our highest rain chance and our best chance of seeing some severe storms. More on that in a second, but get out and enjoy your Monday evening. Temperatures still in the upper 60s to low 70s compared to where we were yesterday. I mean, even right now, it's 10 to 15 degrees warmer than where we were on Sunday, and Sunday was pretty darn nice, wasn't it? So as we head into tonight, the only fly in the ointment, some clouds. So those clouds will eventually thicken up as we head toward Tuesday morning. But temperatures with a southerly wind with cloud cover, not really going to be that chilly. 64 by 8 o'clock. We fall through the low 60s as we go hour by hour into tonight. 50s overnight, and you leave for work and school with 50-degree temperatures. A far cry from the low 20s we had just two weeks ago. So big picture, there's a lot coming our way later this week. But right now, high pressure kept us dry kept some sunshine around today, and it also helped with a southerly wind. And this time of year in the winter time, early spring, late fall, the winds really control our temperatures. So we've got a frontal boundary up there to the north. So let's watch how this all progresses over the next couple of days. So tomorrow, the biggest change will be high pressure moves away, so it's not going to be as sunny. We'll have some clouds, maybe a small chance of rain, but nothing significant. The warm air will stick around. The warm air is still here on Wednesday. Wednesday, the system connected to that stationary front, an area of low pressure starts to get a little closer. It's still going to be warm. It's still going to be cloudy, but a better chance of rain later in the day Wednesday. I'm not so worried about that, even though there's a better chance of rain. Here's what we're focused in on, and that is Thursday. As the cold front that's attached to that area of low pressure that was attached to the stationary front. As the main part, the meat and potatoes of the system comes through on Thursday, it will bring us our best chance of rain. For everyone, it could be heavy enough to cause some isolated flooding. It could also be severe storms with some damaging wind gusts causing some problems. So this is what's headed our way on Thursday. So we all need to start thinking about what we've got going that day because it most likely will be interrupted with storms and heavy rain. But not tomorrow. Tomorrow, again, it's cloudy. It is still mild. Temperatures will make it into the mid and low 70s. Along the I-95 corridor, about 70 degrees from Wilson up to Rocky Mount. Here in the Triangle, after seeing highs today in the low 70s, we'll level out about 70 tomorrow. Again, those clouds helping to cut temperatures down just a little bit. But again, I want to point out one more time what we're expecting on Thursday. The timing, while still up in the air, an afternoon and evening event. And as those storms come through, damaging wind gusts and some isolated flooding look to be our biggest threat. So as we go throughout the week, we'll continue to update you on the timing of this. But as it stands right now, a warm, mostly dry day tomorrow, still around 70 Wednesday with rain likely including the threat of storms on Thursday. So we have already declared it a severe thunderstorm alert today. So please make sure you're weather aware as we get toward the end of the week. And then as we get toward Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, temperatures cool off a bit. Your exclusive 10-day forecast will bring us right back into the 60s, though, next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Guys, it's been a while since we've had a big risk of severe weather, so heads up of what's coming our way on Thursday.